What's up everybody? In this video, we're talking about traveling with camera gear. Now I'm getting ready to head on a long trip to Scotland and Switzerland. I am meeting my girlfriend, Chris there. You guys know Chris, if you guys have been watching this channel, we just did a big road trip across the US Southwest. Uh, you can check that out here. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I travel with, how I do my carry-on, how I do my check bags, and yeah, so let's get started. Obviously the first thing I'm gonna talk about is my carry-on. In my carry-on bag, I do my camera bodies, my lenses, my laptop, and my batteries. That's it. That's all I carry on with me along with my drone here. So what I do is I'm going to show you guys here what I use for my carry on bag. I use my F stop Suka bag. All right, guys. So this is the F stop Suka. This is what I carry on. So this is actually just a little bit bigger than the carry on requirements for most major airlines, but because I can smash it down, um, it works okay. I've never been stopped for it. I've never had any issues with it. Now, the beauty of this is if I was to ever have that happen where they said, you know, if they actually measured it and told me that I couldn't carry it on, uh, what I could do is take out this little insert here, has all my lenses, has where I'm, I keep everything, and that way I can take it out. If I had to, I could check the bag, which like I said, I've never had that happen before, but it is a possibility. So all my bodies go in here. So you guys can see I have two bodies, four lenses, uh, my batteries. Now make sure you guys, when you have your, your camera batteries, you need to put them in a pouch separately from your camera. Uh, airline rules, you know, they don't like the lithium batteries or anything like that, alkaline batteries. You have to have them separated. You have to have them out of your camera. So this little think tank bag, a little think tank battery holder I keep, which is really nice. I'll link some of this stuff down below that I carry along with this case that I'm going to show you guys here in a second for my drone. So if the airline was to ever say, hey, you can't carry that on, it's too big, I can just pull this out, zip it up, it's got a handle on it, I can just use it just by itself and be completely fine. Uh, I just have to pay a little bit extra, obviously, to check this in. So that's it, zip this up like this, and it makes it really easy when you're going through security. So all I have to do is I have to unzip this and take out the two camera bodies, put them separately in the bin because they, don't, they make you take out any electronics that are bigger than a cell phone. Now, it also comes with a laptop pouch. So what I'll do, is just put the laptop back here in the pouch. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's what I carry on. Laptop, lenses, camera bodies, that's it. Nothing else, nothing else that I need, even my tripods. Now, a lot of people carry tripods on. I don't, just because I don't like the extra weight, because I am carrying a backpack. My back gets tired. Uh, carrying it on the airport, it gets annoying really fast. So this is the only thing that I take with me, is just this, like I said, I've never been stopped. I've never been um, checked for size with this. Everything's been always fine and I, you know, everything, everything is good. So actually the next thing we're gonna talk about is my personal item. Now most, like I said, most airlines have a carry on and a personal item. What I do is I carry my drone as my personal item in this little case here. Got the drone, got the batteries are separated, got the controller, uh, comes in this little handy pouch and I just carry that with me, you know, when I'm, when I'm walking around. Yeah, so now let's talk about the check bags. All right, so this is my check bag. What you guys are gonna see here is I got a hard case on it. This is weatherproof. The reason why I got this, I make sure that it's weatherproof, and I highly recommend you guys get a bag that's weatherproof, is I was going to Peru uh, a couple of years ago, and I had a layover through Atlanta. Now, when they switched bags and switched planes through Atlanta, it was raining, and when I got to Peru, I was gonna do a trek in the Andes Mountains and all my clothes were wet the night before. I had to air them out, get them in the hotel, put them over the balcony. Luckily it wasn't raining there and uh, just an absolute nightmare. So in order to avoid that, I bought this case, which wasn't very expensive. I got it on Amazon. I highly recommend a weatherproof, waterproof suitcase that are your check bags. I pack my tripods in here. I make sure, now this is just long enough to fit inside here. So I take the head off, I put it down here. This is fine, I'll put it on in here. And then I'll put everything else inside. Anything I need to wrap, I'll wrap in clothes like my filters. I put my filters in here, but I'll wrap it up in clothes. All my socks, everything goes on top, so everything's kind of surrounded by clothes. Close it up and we're good to go. So I make sure obviously it's under 50 pounds. Most of the major airlines, I believe 50 pounds is the, the weight limit. So you guys, I cannot stress how important it is to stay organized when you're constantly driving around, you're flying. So you're constantly driving around when you're at your locations, uh, switching hotels, car rides, you know, long, long trips and everything. So it's so important to stay completely organized if you can. So what I've done here is I've got some packing cubes that normally you would put your, you know, your underwear, your socks, all that kind of stuff in. And I put a lot of my gear in here. I switch it up so I have uh, just like some, some lights, extra batteries. I have some filters. I have my... 
uh, lens cloths and my little blower and everything in here. So I put all my computer stuff in here. I got my card readers. I got my HD drives, my portable HD drives. I have my XQD card reader. Anything with the computer that I have in here, my charger, everything goes in here. I don't put it anywhere else. So it always stays in the same packing cube. And then in the big one here, I have, have my Wacom tablet that I carry with me everywhere because I, when I edit on the road and stuff, this Wacom tablet is <laughs> a lifesaver. Um, and then I have all my chargers. All my chargers are in one place, all my charging cords, everything in one place. Now I try to do USB as much as possible. So I have a couple of these, which are just plug into a wall. Uh, you have you know multiple, I think this one has four. USB ports in here so you can use these plug in multiple things at once your batteries You know so you have your GoPro your drone you have um, your cameras you have your cell phones lights anything like that You're gonna want to have maybe one if not one and not two of these the second thing is Adapters now I'm heading to Switzerland, which is gonna take these I believe and I have Two of these and same thing with the Scotland uh, UK. I have these these three prong so I have these adapters, so make sure you bring adapters, find out which country you're going to and what kind of adapters you need because that's super important. And I also have one of these. So this is just a little splitter here, uh, three different plugs you can use. So you plug one into the wall, obviously, and then you can charge many different things. So if you have two of these, that gives you 10 different devices you can charge. Just like I said, guys, make sure you keep everything, <laughs> make sure you keep everything organized. And anything you guys have that you're gonna put in here, make sure you wrap it up and close. That way your glass filters don't break. And some people like to carry their tripods on and their filters. I don't like having the weight on. And it's not something that I need that's necessary when I get there because bags can get lost or you know delayed or whatever. So I just take what I need. So I put lenses, camera bodies, computer. Those things I would probably rather not have in a computer I have to have with me. So anything else I can wait a couple of days for. So I'm not too worried about anything else. If it's something important, something you think you need, put it in your carry on. All right, guys. So in a week I will be in Scotland and I will also be doing an update video here really soon doing a 10K giveaway to thank you guys for 10,000 subscribers, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, the plan for 2019, some things that are coming up and yeah, so we got the announcement here shortly, so stay tuned for that, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.